Hello. What's up, everyone? Welcome to <laughs> Kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Grown Kids. I'm Ash. This is Dan. This is Will. Each week we get together. We talk about three different topics. I'm going to take my head down. We have a laugh. Take piss out of each other. This week I'm going to go first. So the other day, right? So now I've got this app called Tom Hop. I'm guessing everyone knows what it is. I think it's fairly well known. Yeah, I've not had it for that long, but every day I've been looking at stuff, and I keep seeing seeing things like from seven, six, five years ago, whatever. And basically, I was an idiot. <laughs> I just don't like the way to write on Facebook my statuses, the way I used to type out my statuses and stuff like that. So it's got me thinking: what things did you do as a kid that you wouldn't do now, slash you can't do anymore? In general, so, so it's like my general thing is just seeing things I used to write on Facebook, like the way that I used to write statuses and how I'd word things. You wasn't a kid, eh? no, I wasn't a kid. <laughs> but when I say a kid, I just mean generally between now and younger than things, today. <laughs> things you've done in the past. So when I say a kid, I don't mean like an actual. I don't mean like seven or eight years old. Oh, that's what I had in mind. Yeah, that's really, what I've been like, using. My, as mine are straight up like whether I've done these or not. I can't remember, but like remember straight up things of like going out with your mother, just to somewhere random, just to go. <laughs> that doesn't happen anymore. Wait, what? Like, just to go. Like if if my mum went shopping, I'd be like, "Do you want to come?" Yeah. Really? When I was like, you still four, want to go? Went four, six, between four and six. Yeah. It's exciting. I just thought very. It's like get out of the ass. But do you know what I mean? But now, when I was younger, I mom, and I had to go, and I had to go shopping because I'd never want to go. So my mum used to tell me that I used to do this all the time. I used to go over and she had to bribe me with like McDonald's or something like that. Yeah, I feel, I feel like that was just an essential thing. Like you go with them and they end up get, getting yeah. you something. But then I would it was get like there. the unspoken rule. I would get to one and be like, right, I want to go home. Let's go to McDonald's now. And she'd be like, no, we're going at the end. And I'd beg and beg and beg. And then we'd go to McDonald's and then I'd just be an absolute pain in, in my mum's life until I went to go home. So basically, I just... Evil child. Yeah, I, I was an absolute pain. I don't think men change that much though like whenever you go <laughs> shopping with a girlfriend you just <laughs> sit and sulk go. in the corner don't go. go get some to eat you just uh, don't say anything about it anymore you just kind of sit there and just like yeah you just hope there's a chain in the shop mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that is the worst <laughs> thing ever <laughs> I saw a great joke the other day why did the girlfriend cross the road so she could go back in the shop she went in half an hour ago to buy the same thing she looked at half an hour ago that was brilliant <laughs> anyway yeah so but yeah. In general, as a kid, things just like no, even as a well, kid, like, just before the standard things that you can't do now. If you've got siblings, is bathe with them. That's <laughs> just weird now. If somebody, if somebody like you know, every kind of has those pictures where your mum's just throwing you all in together. Yeah. And then, but now that that would just kind of be creepy and weird. I never had a sibling at a close enough age to do that. With. So. But yeah, yeah those weird. those sort of like really young kid sort of things. What came to mind for me. Personal style, what, five six years Getting ago. Clothes off your cousins, no one else. Hand, hand me down, yeah. yeah hand oh, me down. Yeah. What? Like when you're young, yeah. it's like, oh, these my kids are grown up here. <laughs> my you're like, Whoa, hey, my, new stuff. <laughs> my cousins get my hand me downs, but I never had any from my cousins. I never had no male cousins older than me. Nah, there's a lot of females in my family. I still get hand me downs. Really? Well, Sean buys stuff from for his work, and he just doesn't wear it. Every yeah. time I see my cousin, it's the only time that I used to rain. Literally every <laughs> single time. It's ridiculous. It's going to be better when he starts wearing stuff that you've got stories about wearing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I did in that shirt? <laughs> no, that's horrible. <laughs> I, I went to life. So my mum used to give my stuff away. So like, as soon as I left, like, I'd be at uni or... I'd, one time, so she, I had like a whole <laughs> bag of stuff. You know when you, at, when you was at uni, you played for sports teams? No, I don't. Sport, oh, you don't. <laughs> when you was at uni, you played for sports teams and stuff, and you used to get, like, the jumpers and the t-shirts with your name and sports teams and stuff like that. Yeah. And that stuff, like, memorable. They're, like, well, like you got your chef of had not you? Yeah. Jump Things like memor- uh, mem- mementos of your time yeah. at uni and stuff like that. So I had all this stuff in a bag at mum's house that I was going to bring here at some point. And then one time I went to my nan's, and my cousin was wearing my Hallam top with, all, <laughs> with my name in it and all my teammates' names. I was like, Take it off. Take it off. <laughs> Why have you even got it on? Oh, your mum gave it to me. No. Nope. No, nope. I had to go to his house to get every single one of my uni tops. <laughs> like, there were 
trophies that I'm earning in his house. I was like, what, what is going sure, on? Sure. Has your mum just picked that bag up and gone, here, have this? My mum just basically gave all my stuff away. Because if he's cousins. gone through it and gone, yeah, I'll have a trophy. Literally, my mum, because I used to have like, loads of trophies from sports stuff when I was like, well, football, yeah. Yeah, I've got shit like every year. And then just went back to my mum's house one day, gone. Like, where are they gone? Give them all to your cousins. Why do they even want it? It's got my name on it. It's a trophy. They didn't win it. I don't understand. I don't get it. Yeah, no. That's nothing to do with the topic. No. But that was just a rant. Like, other things, like, more personally, like, five, five, six years ago, I look back now and think, fuck, what was I doing with my hair? <laughs> the whole weight thing. Fuck, what was I doing there? Oh, my God. This leads brilliantly into a topic I wanted to bring up. It's like, remember when Danny had a midlife crisis and got his tongue pierced? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I was thinking, how could we make this into the topic of the day? <laughs> and then you just led into it brilliantly. What? Why was you thinking about that? I don't know, because we used to talk about funny stories about each other. It's like, mm. how can we make funny topics? It's like, oh, remember that time when Danny had a midlife crisis and got his tongue pierced? It all started with getting, it all started with getting fat. It was downhill from that. there. The I'm back. When did you take that out? Um, when we did Olympics, because we that did boxing. Oh, did we took it out? Yeah. I took it out that day because we were doing boxing and typing down, and thankfully I did, because Chris mm. then jabbed me up, <laughs> like, blindsided, black, black eye, once his mum went three years ago? No, it must have longer than that. Four, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, just fucking pissed. That's pretty good. <laughs> For about six months, yeah. Is that only six months? <laughs> yeah, I didn't have it long. What's did you regret it after the mouth abuse you got straight away? No. That's yeah. definitely one of the things. Been done, isn't it? <laughs> things I've done when I was younger that I wish I never did. Got my tongue pissed. Come friends of used to. <laughs> <laughs> just ashes the problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was a bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, other things I did. Things that I can't do now. That like I used to do. Like when I was younger, I used to play a different sport every single day. Could you I used to imagine go to clubs. doing that? I played football about three times a week. I used to go to a running club for a little while. Yeah. Every sport in school, rugby. Body yeah, life. put my mind to stuff. I feel like back then, like you're saying, like anything. Do you want to do this? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And just jump straight into it. Yeah. No, do you want to do this? I'll have to think about it. <laughs> see if I can give my full effort because it might not be. Right. Can you imagine <laughs> if we wanted to go to the gym back then? You you like well, obviously well, didn't we did. We would easily gone everything today and living fine now it's like oh I just finished work I've gone home I've sat down and I ain't getting up again yeah that's so, why you, you go before you get home there's no way yeah but I just can't handle that sort of stuff anymore it's just oh, it probably could but I just haven't got the effort to, to do it yeah the mental motivation to just yeah. get out and st- I don't mind doing stuff but it's just getting started once we're starting okay but... I feel like you, you mentioned work I think that is it because yeah, we spend the majority it. of the day working which drains you, and then you're like, school, do you? yeah, what, school, what, 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 what did we do? We kissed the batting class, and it's people something. you like, whereas yeah, you go to yeah, work yeah. and you don't get any people. And that was it. And half the time, PE, and you just played football. Or I did just used to go to PE pretty much, do sprints and stuff, and just. And if you were like us, we'd join each each um, team, and then when they had the tournament, yeah, just go. Just go to the tournament. <laughs> At the time we went to the rugby tournament. <laughs> yeah. Did you play rugby? No. Just oh, go to rugby. Some yeah, kid r- run past me and I just <laughs> went. <laughs> Someone was, um, was, oh, what was it? Cross country. Is that, like, yeah, we're going to cross country. Oh, what is it? During school time? Yeah. Yeah, I'll come. <laughs> Got there. <Yeah. laughs> Ran for about two minutes. Oh, I'm injured. Can't, can't do the watchman. I stood and messed around for the rest of the day. No PE. I mean, no school. Is that like, brilliant? But yeah. Can't just get off of work nowadays to go. Yeah. Uh, just go and cross country. Yeah. Other things like I can't play Xbox until five in the morning like I used to because I'd never go to work. Responsibilities. This is the, this is the thing. Basically, work just ruins your life. This is what we've just come to. Yeah, growing up, man. Bad times. Stay kids. Not even that long though. Uni can't drink during the week anymore like I do at uni. Can't drink two days straight <laughs> without dying on the third day. It's got to be a very special occasion to drink two days straight. New Year's. Two days straight, you've been hungover. Stag. And that's... I don't think I'm ever going to do it again. Like, get on it two days. I remember... Used to get on it like, all the time and do... Um, uh, all-nighters. Yeah. All-nighters like, wasn't, though. 
to like eight in the morning and then Glastonbury I still do it for that that's yeah but like, it's just special occasions isn't it yeah that's true can't have sleepovers anymore no just that's true of, well you can but they're kind of different, different nowadays <laughs> <laughs> different kind of sleepovers yeah can't go in a drink in the park and you can, you, you just still can't get arrested. <laughs> you just look a bit weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in fact, you can get away with that now during the day. You don't have to go at night. It's true. Can't go and play run outs anymore. We so can, and we so mm-hmm. should. No, yeah, we it's should. There's nowhere to no, go, go though, anymore. No, it's like. It's just fine. You've got to find that special, that place that has everything you need. It's less can, it's more we couldn't get enough people together to do it. Yeah, that's true. That's probably the problem. Facebook. And it's not really run outs anymore, it'd more be like walk jog out. <laughs> yeah. It'd be, the few that could run. <laughs> it'd be that yeah. moment where you start running and you have to check to see if they're running behind you and when they're not you just slow down. <laughs> that game of run outs isn't lasting two and a half hours anymore, it's lasting about twenty minutes. That's it. No, yeah. I can't. I just it's a phone can't. call. Yeah, we're just in the park. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I bet you can't find us. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it now. We host events. <laughs> host events, get on a train, go around London, go find stuff. Yeah, no, I'm in a pub. I'm enough. Done. Yeah. Just pit stops. How many pit stops you want? Yeah. How many pies do you want? You haven't started yet. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I I can't think of anything else in regards. But there was. There is so many. There was a lot of things that you could do back then. You could sort of. Things you can't. Things you can't. Kiss chase. I can't do that anymore. Just, that really looks weird. Yeah. It's rapey. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not rapey, it's rape. What? <laughs> it's just rape. <laughs> not if you consented to the game. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's just <laughs> some weird game you play in your house. <laughs> oh my God, that's not play fighting. <laughs> you can't dress up in random costumes all the time I feel, anymore. I feel like back in the day, you can't collect mm. stuff. That's too geeky anymore. No, I do that. I don't care what you say. It's full circle. It's like, no, but, it could have been you as little. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, when it's, you were little, your parents bought it and that. And then yeah. you get to like a teenager where nothing's cool. cool. And then you're an adult, you've got your own money. So you're Same like, I don't give a shit because it's in my money. So. And more so for us in our school. You can't do wrestling moves on each other anymore. <laughs> no, no, that's true. I think we did an idea of getting that banned, basically. Yeah. Someone, Jack um, Proctor got 3D. 3D in the middle of a concrete floor. Quite sure Danny Webb and somebody else. That was the end of that game. <laughs> but didn't it, our generation Could you imagine get doing that now? Bulldog brand as well. What, in juniors? Yeah. Because these are pretty juniors. Yeah, Bulldog. Bulldog trip on the grass. It wasn't even on the grass, it played on concrete. Yeah. It, like, half of it was on grass, actually, to be fair. That's when the time to change. Through the trees, are Yeah. 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 <laughs> Which is actually surprisingly dangerous. <laughs> didn't think surprisingly about stupid now. Didn't think about it at all. Yeah, I will play that now. It's amazing. I think I probably still would. If you can get enough people together to do it. do, though. If we go ice skating, there's always... We used to ice skating. That's close down, though. Bulldog ice skating is a terrible idea. What, in the same place? No. no. Oh. Where uh, WH Smith and that is. That, that side of... You know, that's the stop before the station. Nope. After the yeah. You know where Sport and Supper is? Yeah. You know, the stop oh, there. Sit there. there. Oh, right. They're going to make a gym. swimming pool, ice rink, and gym. 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 Oh, it's going to be like a borough one, like yeah. a Haven borough one, okay. like that, I'm guessing. That would be cool. Oh, I'd like to ask it. But yeah, ice skating bulldog, stupid idea. No, but ice skating would Um Anything with bulldog, stupid idea. It's dangerous. Peace and love. It was so good. I had no care for your body back then. It's like, after um, Zorb football, yeah, aching just from that. I was worried about actually getting to a certain place and going, oh, I don't want to get hit because it might hurt. But then it was just like, I'm going to run into you. Yeah, you don't care. Your like, leg's falling off. You're like, Mum, look, I'm fine. We yeah. like, no, <laughs> just go to the hospital right no, now. One <laughs> scrape and he's like, <laughs> oh, broken it. <laughs> no, it's fine. Just keep playing. No, no. <laughs> Being young was awesome. Growing up sucks. Standard. Just because you realise stuff when you're older. The impact things have. <laughs> you now look at your parents in a different way, like, that's why you did that. Another thing, <laughs> when I was younger, this is the last one before we change shopping, because I just thought of it. It's, yeah, it's last way. So, back to the going shopping with your mum sort of thing. Mm. When my mum used to walk down the road, 
I can't go anywhere walk anymore because of this. She basically, my mum used to walk really fast and no, me, no, no I walk really slow. <laughs> she basically just dragged me down the road. I can't now just yank and lay on the floor and scream like a little bitch. I don't want to go anymore because I'm being dragged down the road. I feel like you would. Yeah, I, would. <laughs> I would like to. I don't feel like your mum tried hard enough, otherwise you'd be walking fast like a normal person. Mm, you say that, I just got dragged down the road and then eventually I just had to go on my own. <laughs> Was it? Oh, I just got left. That happened a lot. And I had to go wrong after Because obviously... You're not making your mum out to be a good parent. <laughs> well, it worked, didn't it? Because I... That didn't no, you still walk slow! That's kind of what you do as a kid, isn't it? You, you <laughs> lag miles behind and you like moan or you like, yeah. run like 100 metres in front like, Mah! What are you going to do? <laughs> anyway. Who's going next? I'll go next then. Yeah. So my topic this week, I thought... Why not do like a wrestling through the ages, all star match, whatever match you want, whatever match type, whatever wrestler, so you can have like eight people, two people, four people, three people. Yeah. But uh, so that was my idea for who uh, for this topic. So I guess I should start really. So I mean, for, I thought I feel for us the golden age of wrestling was really like Stone Cold and Rock and stuff like that. Like I'm just that. after I know there's like Hulk Hogan era and stuff you're, like that. But that is, before that, because you just went back. And uh, sorry, that. yeah, no, no, era wasn't then. I, it's because I've watched stuff. Like yeah, the era of me growing up and being a teenager is the Attitude Era. Yeah, is but my life, I've huh? yeah, it's called the Attitude Era. <laughs> <laughs> but um. My love is the older, so the Macho Man, that era. I It's probably because of my older brothers, but we had VHS tapes, uh, figurines, all that for that era. And I just grew up on that, and that is it. That is the era for me. So mine won't be deviating too far so in the future. So, John, what's your... So, I did still think that I'd, I'd want some from that era, though, because mm. obviously they were massive in that. So I'd probably go for a tag match, and I'd have... On one team, although I probably won't mesh that well, I'd have Ultimate Warrior and Undertaker, Paul Bearer, like that era Undertaker, <laughs> that era Classic Undertaker, Classic Undertaker. 90s really, Undertaker, really, really yeah. Yeah. with the grey gloves. Yeah. And then I'd probably want it to be some sort of like Hell in a Cell or like table match or something like that, I think. And then on the other team, you've got to have the greatest tag team there ever was, Rock and Sock Connection. How could you <laughs> not have mankind and the rock? That obviously, was, that was so ridiculous. But yeah, <laughs> it it was like even at the time, it just seemed like a, a total random match yeah. up to like have like, together, sort of thing. It's just, it's so weird because mankind being Mick Foley, Mick Foley, yeah. great wrestler, yeah, and, it, and the rock and however Cactus Jack, Cactus Jack, mm. but him and and Rock being great, they are great wrestlers, so it should work as a good team. Yeah. So that'd probably be my match, I think. I think that'd be a funny match, a good match to watch, so... All right, yeah. It's well for that. Um, mm. I went the same route tag team. Yeah. I went a bit different. I went back to that 80s, like, Survivor Series six-man tag, just so I could have more people. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Um, so I've got two teams, and I, I did kind of good versus bad, because that was always the way. It was a team with a load of baddies, and it was a team with a load of goodies. So my six man tag, um the first team was the Steiners. Who was in the Steiners? Rick Steiner and Who Scott Steiner. Yeah, Rick oh. and Scott. So you know big um big pop up off. Yeah. back in the day though, when he was They there. had like um the um they was like wrestlers, so they had like green Proper and Proper Leotards. Green and red like le- Leotards things yeah. and they had like the, yeah, like the helmet mullet. son as well, I think. But Rick had the helmet and Scott just had a big mullet. What was Rick's white? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think they had a blue type, right? But with them... Yeah, um, I think they did change, yeah. Yeah, they had multiple colours. Oh, okay. right? cool. So every time like, they wrestled, it was something different. But he always had his kind of helmet on yeah. to stop cauliflower. But they were just beasts. And like Scott Steiner did Hurricane Rana from the top rope. <laughs> and it was stupid. For the bulk of they are, because he's like a weightlifter. Um, then I went for the new foundation. Uh, probably a lesser oh, known it tag team. It's Owen Hart. Yeah. With Jim the Anvil and Ideheart. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Isn't that, is that uncle or something like that? No, he's no really a He was part of the Hart family, though, weren't he? Like, he married in. So he oh, married right, one of the sisters say. of Brett and Owen. Oh, right. Brett and Owen are brothers. Yeah. Bulldog, British Bulldog, married in. Yeah. As well. Um, so they're against each other then? Who no, no, these are together. This is the team together. So it's six-man tag. 
Oh, so six, six on each team. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay, sure. Classic. Oh, what? I thought you meant two, two, two. No, I, I so thought you meant three and three. Cause six, I've... six on one side, six yeah. on the other. No, okay. I get you now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So when when one of the partners gets pinned, the team's out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So a classic match. Um, and then finally, possibly one of the greatest tag teams ever in my eyes, and going to be my Halloween costume next year, the Mega Powers. Oh. Macho, Macho Man, Randy Savage, and Hulk Hogan. I've realised I don't know Legends. that much about wrestling. I, I was right in it. So that that's the good team. And I feel that's like good, Hulk, okay. Hulk and Hulk and Macho. Yeah, they're always going to be the good yeah, team. Okay. Um, they all face up against the Head Shrinkers, which was Samu and Fatu. Um, I can't remember which one's which, but um, one of them was Rikishi okay. back in the day. But didn't he come in as like the third one at the end? I think so. Yeah. There was, yeah. I don't know if Haku was part of them as well. They had kind of a mixed bag, but it's from the Rocks family. They're all related. Right. Head Shrinkers and the Wild Samoans before them. They're the first ones, and I think they had Bobby the Brain Heenan at one point as their manager. Okay. And he was quite an evil manager. Demolition, but um, Axe and Smash Demolition, <laughs> so the classic one. That doesn't ring a bell. No. Um, they, wore, they had um, kind of like face paint, silver and red. One had long hair, one was kind of old, and they were all kind of like, really looking at it now, bondage here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, they were a big tag team. And then, more newer, the outsiders, it was um, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash, better known as Razor Ramon and Diesel. They was never Scott Hall and Kevin Nash on a... They were just at the end, before they went over to WCW. That's when they were known as the outsiders, because they went oh, over yeah, yeah. as them. But yeah. That is my match. Just a standard six-man tag. I just wanted to get as many cool people as I could. Just get as many of your wrestlers in there. Yeah. Oh. I think there's no Legion of Doom in there. I wanted Legion of Doom in mine because I really love Legion of Doom. I do like them, but... No, I like powers. There's oh. so many good tag teams, though, back from back in the day. There was, yeah. Like the Bushwhackers, Fabulous Rougeos, um, the Quebecers, Mount Ian and his mate. Yeah. Heart Foundation. It's a Hurricane Typhoon. Um, natural Disasters and yeah. um, The Rockers Shawn, Marty, uh, Shawn Michaels and Mike Gennetti yeah. so, so many I could keep going but Ash oh, I'm gonna go. uh, so I was obviously less interested than you guys were obviously because <laughs> I didn't even know half the people that you just said but I had my favourite wrestlers so I just sort of made I just sort of made a match between my favourites at the time so it would be like a four man head in a cell match yeah, the Although, elimination chamber they call it now no that's different isn't it? Oh. no it's in the Hell in the Soul it's like a yeah. cover on it isn't it yeah. and it's, pin, still it's pin. a cage just with yeah, a roof cage, basically yeah. oh, uh, but you could go on top of it somehow and you could chop people you go out outside and rock people yeah so the, climb up the, the top cage weren't actually on the ring like it is in a cage it's match outside. it had like outside, yeah, yeah it's like outside the whole ring so but you I don't think the premise was to get out of it no there wasn't you could just walk in and out and it was just pin inside but you could get out of the actual cage and then go on top. I remember the uh, Undertaker and Mankind. Go on top of yeah. it and went through it, which was absolutely ridiculous. But, Again, um, crazy. So yeah, for my head in the cell. So, do you remember Flash Funk? No. Proper old. Right, this is even Flash. before my time. It also, also the name was Too Cool Scorpio. I remember the name and Too I just cool remember Scorpio. seeing him. This was a very, probably the very first time I've seen wrestling. It was a black dude. Shock. It was a, <laughs> it was a black dude. But who's coming next? For his, time, for his time, <laughs> junk your dog. He had the most athletic moves I could think of, and it was absolutely ridiculous. Like I swear, one time I seen him change his body position in midair. <laughs> like we'd go in one way, and then suddenly he's going backwards without touching the floor, and it was just ridiculous. And he'd do these stupid dances, and like, he would take come out and dance and stuff. That was it. So, Funk uh, Flash or two called Scorp- Scorpio, whatever you want to call him. Then there was Bret Hart because he was my favorite wrestler of all time when he used to wrestle. Best there was. There was, and the best that ever will be. <laughs> and then there was Gold Dust, just because his makeup was awesome. And how are you going to get in that much makeup every single day <laughs> to wrestle for however long he's wrestling for? And he must have had so much on because he must sweat so much. Yeah, it wouldn't yeah. even run that much. Family so lineage, like, though. Yeah. And it was actually really good. Wrestler. I actually thought another one we saw about as well, like Dude Love, just because Mick Foley played so many characters. <laughs> that's ridiculous. But he was awesome. But he's actually in the match. Um, so I've so got Bret Hart, Funk Flash, uh, Goldust, and I kind of want to put, I'll put Rikishi in there, 
but only because it was part of too cool. <laughs> because it was <laughs> too cool. It's got too hot in Grandmaster Art. Sexy, yeah, and those PCO are amazing. But if you're just gonna take one and put them in the way, because the other two are just gonna get beat up by a philosophy in there, <laughs> they've got tired. no chance, yeah, they've literally got no chance. So you just gotta put Rikishi in there, chuck in Rikishi, let him do some moves and a little dance, and stink face, yeah, stink face was a disgusting who, who would he stink? That face? Everyone used to try doing scores of people, but he never had <laughs> ropes to do it, so he just basically sit on some <laughs> place, just make it back another to the thing, la- back to the last <laughs> topic, another thing you can't do anymore that you've grown up is sit on someone's face. You can, but that's another thing for the bedroom again. <laughs> that's for the, that's the, for the adults show. That's the adults in the bedroom show. Anyway. So yeah, poor man. <laughs> Hell in a cell. Rikishi. Gold dust. Funk flash. Yeah. So who's, right. who's winning your, your, heart. Who's your who's winning, winning your matches? Oh. No idea. Rock, Gold dust. Empire. That's rock. Rock and make foley man. <laughs> yeah, Goldust is the man, I think. Purely because just the lineage and <coughs> who he is, he's such a Goldust is in it. And he's dressed in fucking gold. <laughs> you can't lose if you're dressed in gold. You can, obviously, because he did those times. But if you're dressed in gold, you ain't losing my match. Unless Rikishi starts dancing, then he might lose. Your match more just sounds like a big Tap dance show. sort of thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Scotty, just going. Scotty and Grandmaster's coming in. Scotty's going to start doing the worm. She's going to turn into a party, isn't it? This is a party in the ring. It's just a party in the cage. A Bret, a party. <laughs> Bret Hart's just going to be sitting there going, what the fuck? Yeah, it'd be, what were we talking about? Bret Hart had that neon pink clothes on. He was yeah. raving Yeah, and had those glasses. Yeah, like, glasses. He's always wearing yeah. sunglasses. He wasn't, wasn't very, very, <laughs> wasn't very right. danceable. He was rep no. more technique. He was the greatest, what was his theme tune? The best there was, the best there is, and the best there ever will be. If you did want one more dance, you could put Shawn Michaels in there. Did he dance? Heartbreak Kid, man. Oh, uh, yeah. With his switch of music. Yeah. I, I, I kind of asked Rach, because I've been going through a wrestler kind of phase again. Um, but I was like, can I have that as my entrance music to <laughs> the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> Just Shawn Michaels opening and song. Sexy boy. Yeah. I remember when we was in America, we... I'm not gonna sing it. How do you sing it? No. Where is it in America? I think I'm cute. I know I'm sexy. I've got the looks. Drive all the girls wild. I've got the moves. I really move them. If I get the I send shivers up and down their spine. After this, just do the dance to the theme. I'm not gonna do that. It would be so good. It really wouldn't. Amazing. Yeah, so good thing. Oh, please do it. I'm just going to wear that. It would be so funny. Just do it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, cool. No, that would that'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, who's winning yours? Um, Mega Powers would win it. Matcha Man, because it's my favourite. Flying elbow from the top bunk. Top bunk call. What was the Rick Flair noise in the Woo. Woo. Yeah. Mm. It was so annoying. Woo. But Sting did that as well. Before yeah. Yeah. Do you remember all the different things that had like Dharma Dharma page? Was it? Dharma Car. Mm. Yeah, DDP. Didn't Jay Z think that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think maybe it'd just be a global time for a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, does, it kind of time. does lead me onto a different another topic, picture. but I'll save that for another day. Right, okay. Um. <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. So, go on, what's your topic? So my topic was um, <laughs> so not to be a dick. No. <laughs> if you could create any TV show on TV now for Marvel or DC characters, who what, and what would you pick? Because there's a load going about now. We've got Arrow, we've got Flash. Um, so basically, what spoilers? To but TV? Roy's leaving. You've mentioned he may be going to a different show. Starman. He didn't say that. No, no, no. That was a different conversation. Oh, it was a different. No, we were leaving about that, because yeah. he's like in movies and stuff. Like that. Oh. He's got a new film coming out of Rock and stuff like that. Is, yeah. is he in that Baldur's TV show? No, oh, but Rock's got a film coming out called San Andreas, which is like a, a disaster movie, and he's one like the helicopter pilots in there. Yeah. Didn't know, but yeah, there's the Starman we mentioned. Um, Supergirl is doing something. But there's loads of little shows coming out, so is there somebody you would pick out and go, I want that show? I struggle with this, because most of the characters I know have been on TV. 
Is that why it's mainly in cartoons. So I'm trying to think. I was trying to think of a cartoon that I'd want to bring to live action as an answer, but Teen Titans, the Teen Titans that I know wouldn't really work as we were talking about earlier because you couldn't have Beast Boy, you couldn't have Starfire, you couldn't have um, marginally. You, you could have Cyborg marginally. Yeah, you could. You could probably have Cyborg. You could probably have Raven marginally. You couldn't really have Ra- Raven though because it's all magic and the sort of magic she does is all portal based and stuff like that. And it would just mm. cost an absolute bomb for it to keep being magic all the time. Oh, yes. So you couldn't have Raven. You could only so you, you couldn't really do Teen Titans do, of the Teen Titans that I know. You couldn't do Spider Man's been done a million times. Not as a TV show. Not as though. a TV show, no. But it's been done in so many movies and what would be the point? Don't worry, there's more coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh look, it got younger. Oh yeah. Um Yeah, I'll I'll think about it while you guys are same yours. Well, I know mine. I'd, I'd very much like some sort of Teen Titan one would be, but a majority just some sort of Robin. Now it doesn't. It could start with them being Robin. It could be any of the Robins and Robin to Nightwing, Robin to Red Hood, Robin to Red Robin. Just the transformation from starting as Robin, and then them finding their own path to their character. Yeah. That would be mine, and then. They can hook up with some Teen Titans along the way. That'd be even cooler. They are doing a Teen Titans show. That's what I we had the conversation yeah, like that, called Titans. It would just matter. So I think it would have to be Robin centric. Yeah, I think he's going to be the main character. There's a lot of but there's a lot of people that can go Teen in. Titans, yeah. So I wonder who they're going to put in there. Like you said, predominantly known is for me it's the cartoon. Yeah. It. I imagine it's going to be like a mix of all the different versions of Teen yeah. Titans and the characters they can oh, actually they've announced some season. of the characters already but I can't remember what it is now just, I feel like they'll just be picking and choosing what they can fit in Yeah, what they it's just one of those things where they can yeah. and DC at the moment are not like that because people aren't going to care what they that much that it's not from the team they're meant to be from like if they have some from Titan East they're yeah. from the Teen Titans they're not going to care that much No, I wouldn't imagine anyway so they could probably just do what they wanted as long as they've been in Teen Titans before Will? Yeah, it's hard because a lot of the stuff that's most well known is already kind of mm. either doing the sun pin or been done now, so it makes it hard to pick like an alternate character that you think would make a good show. But I think maybe a Punisher TV series would probably be quite good and it would probably it's hit the right sort of nose now just because it's, um, gritty. it's gritty and dark, dark and that sort of thing that's how things have kind of gone nowadays but um, I don't think you could do it without cameos from other characters because well, it seems such like uh, the universe is so yeah he, he's well, the first time I ever saw Punisher was in Spider-Man and he was chasing Spider-Man down a lot of his stories intertwine with him going up against other superheroes yeah. rather than I think watching him just like take out like gangsters or whatever would probably be a bit boring or it's something like that be, really yeah, yeah. Boring, yeah so. so it's just he's just going to shoot him rather than punch him to death sort <laughs> of thing so depends on which way you're gonna, are you going to go more kind of Daredevil DC wise where it's nothing magical about it or do you go more Marvel kind of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. where there's a bit of powers in play yeah, I suppose it depends on the country yeah so I've sort of thought of who I'd pick so I don't, it'd be someone like Obscure not Obscure but it's not been massive in their world so someone like Static Shock who had a cartoon amazing cartoon but was part of was it he was he had his own there, there was a Static team and yeah. it was it was he joined. Um, Did he join up Teen Titans? He joined Teen Titans at one point. Yeah. He is in Teen. He has been in Teen Titans. Um, so someone's like Static Shock or Guardian, like I can't remember which, what his name is, but he's got like a gold helmet and he's just like a strong guy, like just got super strength and stuff like that. Um, he'd be quite cool because it'd be really easy to bring to a show because he hasn't got like no magical superpowers. Yeah. I think he's just strong just and stuff like that. But he's also most of the time in part of a team of some sort he's never really been on his own that I can think of he probably has but I just don't yeah. know that like I've seen or read so someone like that someone slightly obscure just basically like what they do now so apart from things like Arrow and Flash the big ones 
and well, that kind of Arrow, take. Arrow wasn't massive before. In the world of DC, though, Arrow is. He was behind big. the rest of the Justice League. Yeah, he was always kind of like a Hawkeye character, where he's just it, a side. Although he's like an Avenger mm-hmm. and he's quite a big Avenger, he's always kind of on the side because they're kind of like. Yeah. See, to me, because I think from because of how I've always watched stuff mm-hmm. based on cartoons and things like that, and a lot of Justice League, Arrow's always been a big character to me. He's always been. Like he's obviously always second to Batman, yeah. Superman, things like that. But he is like that very next tier down. From oh yeah, he, he is the next. Well. He's the next tier off the original seven Justice League. And he's he's pretty close to being in that, to me anyway, in that main set. No, I get that. Another cool character would be um, Martian Manhunter. But again, that's another one that's very CGI. Yeah, it would be so much CGI that it'd be hard work and cost a lot of money. Jean. You yeah. say that, but then with the Flash, pretty much. The majority of that's all CGI, especially powers and stuff like and that. And like the Inhumans coming in. Yeah, I suppose There's so. a fair bit. It's just the. It's how much. Yeah. Because like, they probably could do Cyborg, because um, Phil Peterson, Mike Deathlock, Peterson. and Mike Peterson. Deathlock in uh, Agents yeah, like of Shield. Yeah, having the suit and stuff would be fine. Like, you could do Cyborg, because you'd shoot yourself out of his hand or whatever, would be fine. But then the whole making his arm transform every time he's going to shoot something would start to become a problem, I think. In but they'd the think, of, they'd think of a way around it. They probably would think of a way around it. They'd probably just have like someone come up, yeah. actually, like, turn, like um, Robocop, rather than having an old arm, like, morph. Like, for Arsenal, Arsenal never lost his arm and got a robotic arm, like a robotic arm. He's just yeah. Arsenal. Just human, and he's been injected with the, whatever it is, that um, Deathstroke has. Mercury. Yeah, that's the one. Never lost his arm or anything like that. So, yeah. That's cool. That's how that could bring uh, way back, by the way. I mean, do you know that storyline? Yeah, you've mentioned it a few times. That's how they could bring him back. If they ever wanted to. They won't, but... But he's not dead or anything, so they could bring him back just normally, really. Yeah, that's true. He'll be in it before the end of the season, then. Spoilers. Definitely spoilers. No, it's not a spoiler, because we don't know the answer. But yeah... Lord, we'll come up because all he does, all he does is sit there and read everything about Arrow and Flash. And then tells us. Every single day, we get a new message from Will. Have you seen this? Well, no, because we're not sitting there reading the thing, or the website, all day waiting for something to happen. It's not all day. Come to work. Morning, afternoon, and night. (laughs) When he wakes up, on lunch, when he goes to bed. (laughs) To be fair, some of the time it's, it's interesting and useful. Oh yeah, sometimes it's cool. Sometimes I've no idea what you're talking about. Other times I just watch, I don't want to know. Don't ruin <laughs> stuff for me. Don't ruin it for me. I still haven't watched Daredevil, to be honest. Me I've only watched the first three episodes. This weekend, banging it out. Yeah, really episode four is really good. Yeah. And you episode nine is before. really good. I can't remember what happened in the first three. Beat Beats people, people up. up. Yeah. A Get lot of people. And saves people in a courtroom. Uh, yeah, it seems alright so far. Did you hear Constantine was cancelled or something like that? I'm okay. not surprised. They don't ever announce it till May anyway, whether it's going to be cancelled. it was cancelled, it came back and it cancelled again. That's I did hear it's probably going to get cancelled because it didn't do very well. So Again, it's another one that grew. So by the end I was kind of like, okay, but not enough to The problem watching. is it's a very niche market anyway, just because it's a very out there sort of topic. So I've never watched it, I don't even know what it's about. He's basically an exorcist. So from Liverpool, yeah, oh. in America, smoked a lot. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this being grown kids, Ash, Dan, Will. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe. Whatever Favorite else, comment. I can't remember. Comment. So that's that really It's cool. We don't care that much. Peace out. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed too. Not the same bed, by the way. <laughs> Sadly wrong. Apparently. Another thing you can't do when you run off. Or when you're a kid, really. <laughs> Peace.